Hey guys, welcome back. You all remember the Blockade Labs AI that we tried in this video where they had a development where you could actually draw the world before it renders it on top of your drawing. Well now, Illumin AI has created something extra. You could actually walk around in that world. And what's more is that you can load any picture you created in Stable Diffusion or, or Mid Journey and add them to Illumin AI and it's going to make it into a 3D world that you can walk around in. Now the option to add your own pictures is not yet available. It's going to be available soon, but there is a demo we can try with their own created Blockade Lamp worlds where we can walk around and check it out. Let's take a quick look at it. So Instaverse is the program we're talking about. We're greeted with this page when we enter the app. We can do a quick test right now. We can choose this world here. There's a couple of them that you can choose. You can import the skybox death map, which is the death map you get with blockade labs and you would get the world like this at this point. You can just touch the play and you can use your WASD keys to walk around like you would in any normal video game. Now, of course, it's not rendered beyond the image. You see at some point it becomes like this. Of course, that will get developed further as we go, but it's already kind of interesting now. What's cool is that you can add this character into the world. You just press type, you just push to play, and you can just move him around the, the whole world like you would in any video game. So I think it's quite interesting. And you might have seen these things on social media where they're uploading their pictures of Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion and doing the same exact thing. And this will be available extremely soon. So the world of game development and design in general, 3D design is going to be flipped on its head. Now you can obviously do VR as well if you have a VR set. See, uploading your picture here is uh, still not ready to feature, but it will be ready very soon. And speaking of worlds that you can create out of stable diffusion, Benji Holson here has developed a way where you can render a world using stable diffusion, for example, a game level, and it's going to overlay it on top of your playable game. So there's a lot of exciting developments in terms of animation and world creation. Let's take a quick look at Benji's work. So the software by Benji is this one, where he creates the world and then he presses dimension hop. It uses stable diffusion to render based on the text prompt, which in this case was lost temple. This is absolutely mind boggling. You could also use Arabian Nights, Crystal Caves, as you can see, Alien Jungle. So whichever text prompt you put, it changes your whole level, your whole world based on that. And this is all rendered with Stable Diffusion. Benji explains everything in his Substack. I will leave a link to his Substack in the description so you can read all about it if you find this interesting as I have. Now, if you go to dimensionhopper.com, you can actually play the game. You can try one of his games that he created in this way. So you could play around and try to beat my score of four, six now. Well, you get the idea. World creation and gaming is about to change drastically and very, very soon. Any one of us will be able to create any kind of interactive world, game or anything else. I would also like to bring your attention to Playground AI, which has created a platform online that you can use today where it's a little bit like Adobe. You can outpaint, inpaint, erase areas of your pictures and inpaint things into it and all kinds of other interesting things you can do. This is their demo video. I've tried it for about 10 minutes. It's really interesting and I encourage you to go ahead and try it yourself. Last but not least, we've been talking a lot about QR codes AI generated. Well, this person here has created a model to make them much easier. Now, I haven't had too much luck creating awesome things like the stuff that they've created and they are apparently working on V2, which will be eventually, hopefully available for automatic 1111. But for now, you can use it on their site, which I'm going to leave linked in the description. We can try to do a quick test together. This is the model I was telling you about. He called it QR code monster for SD 1.5. And as you can see, he's created these. I tried to scan this. It actually scans. There are other examples that he made like these ones using this model. I cannot wait to have this model in stable diffusion for the time being. 
you can go to his Hugging Face page and try to type something. For the QR code, I put our YouTube. I took one of the prompts that they used here just to test it. Uh, negative prompts, I left empty. I left everything else as default. I even left their seed. And this is what we got. Of course, it's not one of those extraordinary designs, but it scans extremely easily. So obviously you could do something much more special, much more creative, but then it's going to be less scannable unless you're lucky and you create something really super cool that's also very scannable, but you're going to have to play around with this a lot until you get these kinds of results. You can change the seed to minus one, which would eliminate the influence of his seed and create something more random. You could play with the guidance scale, control net conditioning scale. Obviously, the higher the control net is, the more it's going to look like a QR code, but the less it's going to be creative. And the lower it is, the more creative you'll get, but the less readable it's going to be. So you're going to have to look for all the stars to align in terms of the prompt, the control net conditioning, the guidance scale, the sampler, and eventually the seed as well. But it's definitely an alternative to messing around with stable diffusion on your PC, especially if you don't have a good enough GPU. This is a quick solution for you. And from what I can see, it's free as I've used it for 10 minutes and it's asked me for nothing. They are, like they said, working on version two. So I expect this to get much easier, much better, and hopefully end up in stable diffusion for us who like to tinker with it a bit more and have more control over the results we're gonna get. You're going to have much better results with the technique we've used in this video, but if you don't feel like messing around with that and don't have a beefy computer, this is your solution. I'll leave it in the description like everything else. Well, that was all the updates for today, guys. I will catch you very soon.